Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video all about the essentials that you need to take a summer vacation. I am actually leaving for Hilton Head Island tomorrow at 10 p.m. at night. Yeah, it's going to be a long one. Me and my fiance have to go to a wedding up in the northern part of Virginia and then we have to leave from that wedding and drive to Hilton Head. So it's going to be a long night tomorrow, but I'm so excited to go to the beach and hang out and just have a really good vacation. I totally need it. Like, I don't know, it's just been so stressful lately. Just lots of work every which way. Me and Patrick are just so excited to get away for a little bit. So, of course, I need to pack. And I thought I would sit down and share with you guys my essentials that I take every time I go on a like summer tropical sort of vacation. And hopefully you guys can get some ideas if you have a summer vacation planned. Okay, so I have a ton of stuff to share with you guys today, like multiple of each little item that I'm going to talk about. So I'm going to be running through this very quickly. Everything will be linked in the description box below. And I love all of this stuff, so I'm not gonna sit here and tell you about how much I love it because I obviously love all of this stuff. I'm not going to put it in a video if I don't love it. So for me, the very first thing that I think about when I think of vacation is a swimsuit. I, that's definitely the thing that I pack the most of when I go on vacation. So for instance, this vacation that I'm going on to Hill and Head, I will be gone six days. So I definitely wanna pack at least six bathing suits. I usually pack like eight. If I'm gonna be there for six days, I pack eight. In case you want to get in the pool during nighttime, I don't know. I just have so many swimsuits. Why not pack a lot? Um, so the two that I definitely love that I wanted to share with you guys today are these. The first one is from Volcom. I got it from Nordstrom. It is just, they're both of these are very similar in style. So this one just has a high-waisted bottom. So it's just black and white, and it has a little belt-looking thing at the top, which I think is such a cute detail. Um, the back is a little bit cheeky, but not too much at all. So I, this is perfect for like family vacations, things like that. And then the top looks like this. So it's just a triangle top with a little bit of a band at the bottom which is nice just a little bit like more coverage and then the back just has like two straps connecting so yeah this is a really cute bathing suit very simple i love the black and white color another one of my favorites like i said is a very similar style i actually just picked this one up from urban outfitters and i haven't even worn it yet so i'm super excited to take this one again same style very high waisted and um high leg this is just such a pretty leopard pattern i like how it's like a cream it's kind of like a muted leopard which I really love and same thing in the back it is cheeky but it's not too too much and then this top is almost identical to the other one that I showed you so again it just has the triangle type top a little bit of like fabric here and then the back is just the two little straps so yeah I mean these are almost an identical style but that's what I've been loving recently and I love the design and style of both of those. As for cover-ups, I love to wear a cute little cover-up when I'm at the beach. This first one is from Target. I'm not sure if it's still available but if so I will be linked and it is just a little dress so it has like a triangle top and it just has you know a flowy little bottom so this one's just a cream color this vacation that i'm going on is a house so we're staying at a house on the beach so it's kind of like a more chill just very private like family vacation but um especially if you are at like a big resort this one it would be good because it's still really cute if you needed to like go up to the room or just go get a drink go to the bathroom you still look super super cute and then another one that i just picked up that i'm so excited about this one is like perfect if you want to take pictures on the beach or something like that um and this is a cover-up from vici collection and it looks like this so it is just a like beige color with gold stars all over it and then it has tassels all over the sides it is pretty sheer and it does cinch here in the middle i know it looks super flowy and frumpy here but once you put it on it's just like so like i don't know luxurious looking super cute like this with that leopard or this with just like a plain black bathing suit would look super cute so the next thing i'm going to show you is a hat sort of um hat slash visor i guess i have found that when my face gets burnt it starts peeling up here near my hairline and it makes my makeup look horrible so i'm really going to try to like wear a hat this entire vacation and this one is perfect because it's basically like a little visor so you just put it on like this and then it has a piece of velcro in the back that you can kind of connect it and this one is really great because it goes down like i said into like a visor and so if you wanted to if you're one of those girls that wears like your big bun this is perfect because you can still wear your hair up because it is just like a 
little open spot, but you do have a little hat and it's not in your face, not in your way, nothing like that. So I really like this one and I know it can be annoying traveling with hats with this one. They make it super easy because it just literally rolls right up and then it comes with this little band and you just put the band around the hat and it stays perfectly like this. So this one is really easy to travel with. This one is from the brand Hat Attack. I think I got mine on Shopbop, but I'm sure there's probably a dupe on Amazon. I will try to find one below and link it if you guys don't want to spend the money on this one. I got it during the Shopbop sale, so I'm really not sure what the full price is, but yeah. Super cute option. Another super, super important accessory is a pair of sunglasses. So my favorite pair as of recently have been this pair from Target, but I literally just broke them in my hand. I don't know how it happened, but I guess from where I put them in my handbag so much, I'm not sure. This one, this thing got like way bent out. And so I was trying to fix it and it literally just broke. But that's just what I was about to say because these are from Target. It makes it pretty easy for me to just go get another pair. They're pretty cheap and I have been wearing these like crazy. I just love how they look on my face. They're just like square, very, very simple. They have like in a gold um, detailing on the outside and everything. So this has been my favorite pair um to wear they're just so easy to throw on and i definitely will be repurchasing these now that i broke them so sad but so those are one of my favorite and they're really good quality i don't know i just was literally bending them so much just now to try to fix them and they broke another pretty big essential when i'm at the beach is a beach bag or something to carry all of my stuff even if i'm at like a beach house i still want something to carry like my sunscreen my sunglasses a book like a towel something like that so I have two here to show you. This one is probably the one I will be using the most. It is just a simple sort of fabric beach bag. It has a really cute yarn tassel. It has these like shiny little, um, I don't know, beads or something on it. And it's just like this really cute yarn sort of bohemian pattern. So this is the one I will be using. It has brown straps and it's just like a very simple like you know tote bag almost and this is from shop impressions boutique i'm not sure if they have it in stock but i will try to find one similar if they do have it if you don't like that and if you want something a little smaller if you're like at a resort this would be super cute this is just a little straw handle bag if you don't have like a towel say you're just going to like a pool party or something like that at a resort you could just put like anything that you need in here like your wallet um, ID, sunglasses, maybe a sunscreen, something like that. This one is from Red Dress Boutique, but there are plenty of straw bags out there, so I will link some down below. Okay, let's talk tanning and sunscreen, which is one of the biggest things when you're on vacation, you want to A, be tan, and B, get a tan. So I have different products here for all of those needs. The first three are kind of like sunscreen, like tanning products. So if you want a tanning oil, you guys know what I'm about to suggest and I am obsessed with this stuff. This is the Bum Bum Soul Oil SPF 30, which is great because it's not like those banana boat ones where it's like SPF 5. So this is a tanning oil, but you are still going to get some SPF in there. I love this one because A, you guys know I'm obsessed with the Sol de Janeiro scent. It is amazing. It just smells like vacation. Like that's literally all I can say about it. It smells like coconuts and just it smells so good the second reason that i love this oil the best is because it does have shimmer in here so it's going to make your skin look just gorgeous um i don't know if you guys can see like the shimmery floating around in there you have to kind of like shake it up before you use it because it is just very shimmery so it says illuminating sun protection oil for brazilian babe skin so I love this stuff. It is perfect, especially if you're going on like a girl's trip, like a bachelorette maybe, um, and you want to like give yourself a little shine and shimmer before you get onto the pool. This one is perfect. For my fair skin girls or my girls that just do not want to get burnt, I feel you. Um, I always use sunscreen these days and these are my two favorites. This is like a long, long, long time favorite of mine. It is by Hawaiian Tropic. It is the Sheer Touch Ultra Radiance SPF 30. I believe they have SPF 50 if you want a higher SPF. It has Ultra Radiance, so the same thing with that other one. This just makes your skin look gorgeous. It does not have that sticky residue that a lot of sunscreens have. Um, it is a non-greasy, it's oil-free, 
and it is water resistant up to 80 minutes so it really you cannot go wrong with this everyone that uses this like this one's almost empty I need to go buy some more because everyone who uses this like out of my bag is obsessed with it so it goes pretty quickly same with this one that I'm gonna share with you guys this is from Neutrogena it is also an ultra sheer body mist so again not super thick this one is a spray on and this one oh <laughs> And this one a lot of people like i saw whitney simmons say she likes to just spray it on like that like even during the day because it gives her like you can see just like a very natural glow so that's always a good idea and plus you need to be wearing sunscreen every day technically i don't i'm a bad girl but you should they have spf 70 they also have an spf 100 i don't know if it actually works but if you want that they do have it but same thing it is non-greasy water resistant up to 80 minutes so those are my two favorite sunscreens as for my tanning products so if you want to be tan before you get there or say you haven't had a chance to tan and you want to like put on a little something before dinner maybe um, I have two products here to share with you guys so these are both by Bondi Sands I recently picked up a lot of products from their online website and I fell in love with pretty much all of them the first one I have tried and that is the matte one day tan it's like the glow so that is what it looks like super super nice packaging and I just can't even describe this um, but it is so natural looking and amazing I've never tried a one day tanning product like Saint Tropez loving tan they all have this like one day tan where you just put it on your legs and then it washes off in the shower and this one I've just never had anything like it it says when it says matte it means matte and um, it doesn't feel sticky on your skin so first of all you can kind of see what it what they mean when they say matte like that just looks like makeup you know and then you rub it in and it kind of looks like that it just feels like it turns to powder or something once you rub it all in I can't even feel it like at all and like there's the difference between my hands so it's just like that little bit of glow it's matte so it literally looks like your skin i mean that's amazing so i'm obsessed with this it is the best so i will definitely be using this for any events that i have so the next one is the bondi sands liquid gold self tanning dry oil this one smells amazing it smells like coconut <sighs> and i just tried a little bit on my leg and basically what you do with this product is you just spray it on rub it in with your self tanning mitt or your hands if you do it with your hands just be sure to wash your hands after and then you just go like that it's just a very easy product and it first of all you're gonna smell amazing because the coconut scent is just superb and then also you're not gonna have like a sticky residue um so i really love it seems like they've really perfected the tanning game with this brand um because i've really loved everything that i've tried from them so if you are looking for a tanning like situation either a one day tan a gradual tan a mousse self tanner definitely check out bondi sands I think they're my favorite so far, even over Loving Tan. I know, I said it. Okay, so next, let's talk fashion really quickly. When I'm going on vacation, I want to pack at least like three or four little dresses that I can just throw on that look great with tan skin. They're going to just be so easy to put on to go to dinner or wherever you're going. And I have three here to show you guys that I'm obsessed with. The first one is this gorgeous like fuchsia color from Free People. I got this on sale. It's just like embellished with these gorgeous beads and sequins. And the bottom is kind of like a um, shark bite hemline. It just is longer on the sides, kind of looks very drapey, um, very, very beachy. And then the back has that little detail as well. This is just going to look beautiful with tan skin. I just cannot wait to wear this on my vacation and it's super flowy and super comfortable okay I'm sorry if the background changed just a little bit I had to go change my battery as usual but the next dress I was going to talk to you guys about is this one that is very wrinkly from Beachy Collection and I love this one it is just again a very beautiful colorful dress it is a very straight dress but that's why it comes with this little guy which is like a rope that you tie around your waist so yeah it pretty much looks like this i mean this is like a very bad representation but yeah you just tie the little knotted belt um like that looks like a rope belt around your waist and this is adorable it's not too short i was really nervous when i bought it because i was like 
every time I've tried to do this style where it's just a straight dress and you tie something or another around your waist I was it always ends up making it way too short but they really planned ahead for this one it's not too short it looks perfect I love the colors in this again on tan skin just going to look beautiful and then the last one I wanted to share with you guys is actually a romper from American Eagle and this is like a baby doll romper so it is gorgeous up top it just looks like a little baby doll dress it has like no shape to it which typically I would not like but because the chest is kind of a v-neck it just makes it really flattering actually um, it is a little longer so if you are someone who likes longer rompers or if you're taller I think this is a really good option for you because it is a really long short and the back is like stretchy which I love because it's so hard to know everyone's chest size so I don't get it when stores make things that are like just so tight around your chest like why not just put in an elastic back so I appreciate that American Eagle and this is also just going to be so pretty for vacation okay so next I'm going to go over all of the shoes that I have to share with you guys and there are quite a bit because I feel like there are just different styles of shoes that you need for vacation so first it's like pool shoes or beach shoes I guess um, and I have three pairs to show you guys if we're being honest the shoes that I enjoy wearing the most to the pool or the beach are these guys they're not the cutest thing in the world but these are the most comfortable like flip-flops that I've ever worn they are so amazing these are by reef um and they are just the black ones with the little sparkly straps this is what I throw on most days to go to the beach or the pool if I'm wearing something that's like black if you want something that's still just a normal flip-flop but you want something a little dressier or in a nude color I love these these are by Dolce Vita I got these a long time ago from Nordstrom Rack I will try to find some similar anyways these are just a nude they have the gold rim around them so it's like a little dressier of a pool type uh flip flop and then I just picked these up these are some slides from Walmart actually I haven't worn them yet but I am going to take them on my vacation they're literally eight dollars and I think they're so cute they're just like these iridescent holographic sort of white slide and I think these are going to look adorable with so many swimsuits and they're so comfortable because on the inside of this thing it's like a fabric like cushiony material so they're super comfortable to wear and they're just like basic little slides from Walmart so they're really accessible and really trendy so I'm super excited about these if your family is like mine and you go out to dinner like nicer not like super nice dinners but we like to dress up to go out to dinner each night I always wear like wedges or like small heels every night so these are perfect. I love them. I really have been looking for a pair of like gold wedges that wasn't like super gaudy or nothing too much. And these are perfect. I found them at Zara and they fit like a dream. I, I don't know. They just like fit me perfectly. I'm so excited to wear these. They are just gorgeous and the perfect height. They're not too tall or crazy and they do still have a platform underneath your toe as well so they are really not they don't feel that high once you have them on another more affordable option are these from Walmart and I absolutely love them they just look like so much more like high-end than they actually are um, and they are just these super super strappy nude heels and they do have zippers on the inside so they are super easy to get on I love 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 that chunky heel you guys know you can't catch me on no skinny heel because the chunky heel is just so much more comfortable and yeah nobody wants to be uncomfortable when you're on vacation so these are perfect and the nude color will just match with pretty much everything especially on a, like a lighter summery sort of vacation so I definitely recommend checking these out now for loungewear like I said my vacation is like a beach house vacation so I need a lot of loungewear after swimsuits my next like biggest chunk of my suitcase is going to be like loungewear because we're going to be like hanging out in the house a lot so that brings me to two points number one being loungewear so I will show you what I will be packing for loungewear the first set is from Nordstrom and it is actually included in their Nordstrom anniversary sale which is going on right now I don't know if it will be by the time this video is up but if so they're on sale these are just a gorgeous pair of leopard joggers I am obsessed with these they're just so soft the inside is like this amazing like soft little plush material so it just has the joggers and then it also has a matching little hoodie um so it's just like a cropped little hoodie same with the cream band and everything long sleeves and the little hood so 
This is one set that I will be taking, just a super cute little loungewear set. Another little pair that I love is a pair of biker shorts. I just picked these up from American Eagle. I did size down in them. Um, so these are just a very nice pair of biker shorts as you can see just very basic but I really like the way these fit and with those I love to pair cropped hoodies so this one is a huge like wow you can't even see the color that's how neon it is but it is just a super 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 neon cropped sweatshirt from Express and the sleeves are flowy too this one I got on sale for like barely anything like under ten dollars so I really don't know if they still have it in stock but if so I will try to find it and then I also will probably pack this one. This is a little thicker, but it is another neon yellow Adidas cropped hoodie. So this one does have the hood. So if you're more of a hood person and it has the Adidas stripes all the way down and this one does cuff at the sleeves, but it does not at the bottom. So it's just like a cropped little number. And then my last little lounge set that I wanted to talk about, I will also be bringing lots of leggings and t-shirts and things like that. Um, this is the last little set that I wanted to share with you guys. And it is another little jogger sweatpants set from Free People. So this one's like a muted pink sort of dusty rose color. And Free People just makes the best like bohemian looking stuff. I love it. So some ties right here, a nice thick elastic waistband. The biggest detail of this is going to be the side of the pant. So all the way down, it just has this little crochet looking detail all the way down, but it's in the same color. So it's like a very, again, muted, very um, neutral sort of set. These are very oversized, which I love because it's going to be so comfy and um, it does have an elastic band at the bottom. So those are the bottoms and then the top is just a cropped little sweatshirt. So this is pretty cropped but that's okay because the pants do go up quite a bit and the same situation just the crochet on the side of the sleeves and they are like very large sleeves and they do cinch at your wrists so super cute little set there another thing that I wanted to mention while I'm talking about like lounging around the house and hanging out with your family and things like that are games my family is a huge game family we love it and we just have the most fun cracking up with each other when we're playing the games so our favorites are of course like cards against humanity we love like anything super funny and vulgar um it's just it's just hilarious you know so we love cards against humanity and what do you mean but those two kind of get old so we are switching it up this year we're getting like an expansion pack for what do you mean and we also picked up the five second rule the unfiltered version my mom got that and we're excited to play that and then um this year we got two more serious games if you will they're not like as funny one is called secret hitler and then one is called i'll pop them up on the screen because i forgot but um those two are kind of more serious you kind of like half of you are one side and half of you are the other and you have to kind of like guess who's who i think i don't really know but they said those are pretty cool so we love playing games those are some of our recommendations and some that we will be taking this year some random favorites a nice cup this is one of my essentials i love having a little cup to make drinks in um if you like alcohol you can put like like a little mixed drink usually me and my mom and my sister-in-laws will make um, like a Bahama Mama or Sex on the Beach, something like that. If you don't like alcohol, you can put your little seltzer water. Anything like that would be very nice. These come with these little pineapples inside to freeze and use as ice cubes. This one is from Michael's. It's super cute. Very pineapple, very summery. Adorable. So I will definitely be bringing this with me. Another one that is a necessity is my Bose Mini SoundLink speaker. We use this constantly in the pool, inside, just to have a little background music, you know? Um, you gotta have some music at the pool. So I love this. Anyone in your group, if they have a little JBL, I know it's a big brand, like any little speaker like that, portable speaker, definitely do not forget it. And don't forget the charger because you'll need it all week long. All right, quickly for makeup favorites. First of all, this Kula setting spray is amazing. It has SPF 30. If you just do your makeup, say you have to go like out during the day or anything and you want to do your makeup and then you set your makeup with this, you still have that sunscreen SPF protection. And it does smell a little bit like sunscreen, but I think it's, it's something you can get past. And it doesn't leave any weird or like any strange residue or anything on my face, so I love that. Another sunscreen option for your face with makeup is this primer that I love to use and this is the Unseen Sunscreen. That's a tongue twister. Unseen Sunscreen from Super Goop. This has SPF 40. I love the way this feels on my skin. It's kind of like a silicone base so it kind of looks like 
it kind of feels like a poor sort of minimizing primer would um, and I love this one it just feels really nice on your skin it does not feel like sunscreen at all and then for like foundation type stuff I love the it Cosmetics CC cream and this is the oil free matte version this has full coverage I got mine in the shade medium I just love pumping a few just like one pump literally on my hands and just putting this a little bit in like the red areas on my face and it's great because it does have SPF 40 and it still looks makes your face just like a little more put together and lastly for hair favorites we're almost done the two I would suggest bringing are a wave spray to oh to just accentuate those and the natural like soft that might be in your hair from the wind at the beach and the ocean and everything um, I love just throwing a wave spray in my hair to go out at night or anything like that but wave spray can sometimes dry out your hair so be sure to also bring a leave-in conditioner so when you wash your hair you can really load up on this leave-in conditioner or if you get your hair wet in the pool or the ocean always have this on deck and your hair will just be softer than it is normally at the beach so I definitely recommend the leave-in conditioner this these are both by the bleh. These are both by the brand Way, and I like both of these products a lot. So those are all of my vacation essentials. That is everything, well not everything, but you know, all of the categories that I will be packing on my vacation. I leave tomorrow and I haven't even packed guys, so I gotta go. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below anything that I didn't include that you were like, oh my God, I have to have this on vacation. How did you not include it? Let me know down below. And um, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe down below if you are not already. And I will talk to you guys very soon in my next video. Bye, guys. We got something magical.